Oh boy, oh boy, what do we have for you today? Well, prepare to chew your nails, to sit on the edge of your seat, to gather your jaw from the floor, because today we've gathered for you the top five emergency landings on aircraft carriers that you absolutely must see. If you wonder if it's as dramatic as it sounds, the answer is yes, but don't take our word for it. See it for yourself. Get ready, let's go. Number one, slow-mo in hurricane weather. If you just watch this video without knowing the intricate details that go into the landing of an aircraft carrier, then you probably won't be too impressed, but we're here to let you know all about it. Well, at least the basics, so you can truly comprehend how dangerous it is to land a plane on an aircraft carrier, and more so, how dangerous it is to do it in hurricane weather. Landing on an aircraft carrier is often described as the toughest task for a Navy pilot. The pilot must line up with the runway correctly, come in at the correct angle, and stop the plane in a short distance. This is what qualifies a successful landing. Now for many pilots, this would be an unnerving task, but luckily engineers have devised two systems to help accomplish these tasks, the Fresnel lens and the arresting wires. Fresnel lens-based optical landing systems help pilots land on a short runway of an aircraft carrier through a series of red and green lights. The Fresnel lens optical landing system provides guidance for correctly landing on an aircraft carrier. The lens is located on the side of the runway so it can be seen by the pilot throughout the entire landing process. The most dangerous part for the pilots is the touchdown and subsequent deceleration caused by the arresting wires. Not only does it take incredible skill to pull off this landing maneuver, but success also depends greatly on the ground crew avoiding any errors throughout the operation. Before touchdown, the pilot lowers the tail hook. The tail is a long metallic bar that hangs just inches above the surface of the carrier. When the aircraft lands, the hooked end of the tail snags one of the four arresting cables, stopping the aircraft. Good pilots hit the second or third cable rather than the first or fourth because these wires keep the pilot from running into the back of the carrier while still allowing room for takeoff should they miss their target. Once the wheels hit the deck, the pilot immediately pushes the aircraft to full throttle. This ensures that if the tail hook misses the arresting wires, the aircraft can still have enough speed to quickly take off again at the end of the runway. Now it's time to enjoy how perfectly this Navy pilot lands while Hurricane Jacqueline approaches. The F-35C Lightning II jet is landing aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CVN-69. And even though visibility is horrible, this pilot has a couple of hundred meters to make a full stop and the arresting cable is correctly engaged and it slows the jet to a complete stop. Number two, low visibility landing. This F-18 pilot has us taking our hats off and bowing to him. Not only he lands with low visibility, but really bad weather as well. The view from inside the jet is terrifying, not only because of how little the pilot can see, but because we can also see how tiny the aircraft carrier looks. This specific video allows us to see that once the landing has been made, there's still steps the pilot needs to follow, like the many and dangerous maneuvers while he's on the aircraft carrier. But it's not always up to the pilot to take care of a successful landing. Before the aircraft lands, a member of the arresting gear crew inputs the weight specifications of the jet and checks statistics very carefully. If the inputted weight is too large, the plane might be stopped too quickly, causing damage to the jet. Even worse, if the inputted weight is too low, the aircraft will not be stopped in time and the jet will fly off the runway into the water. And on that note, let's move to number three. Hey, how you holding up so far? Now that you know how hard it is to truly land a jet on an aircraft carrier, you can have a full understanding of how truly impressive these videos are. Now prepare to see some landings that didn't go as planned. Number three, falling off the aircraft carrier. In this footage released by the U.S. Navy, we see an accident that happened aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, and it involved an E-2C Hawkeye that attempts to make a carrier landing. The arresting gear that was supposed to bring the jet to a full stop snags while the E-2C tries to land. That has a result for the jet to not stop. In this truly horrendous footage, we see the jet falling off the aircraft carrier while the ground crew is running around terrified. 
While everything seems lost, the amazing pilot manages somehow to recover and not crash into the sea. Which, let's admit it, everybody thought that did. But not everything was well. Eight crew members were actually injured in the incident, probably by the force of the snapping arresting wire. Number four, a carrier landing without hook. Well, now that you know how important the hook is for landing on an aircraft carrier, can you imagine what it would be like to land without one? Seems pretty impossible, right? Well, as it turns out, a KC-130F aircraft made history back in 1963 by landing and taking off from the aircraft carrier USS Forrestal CVA-59. As their page in the military.com says, the crew successfully negotiated 29 touch-and-go landings 21 unarrested full stop landings and 21 unassisted takeoffs at gross weights of 85,000 pounds up to 121,000 pounds. Lockheed's only modifications to the original plane including installing a smaller nose landing gear orifice, an improved anti-skid braking system, and removal of the underwing refueling pods. No tail hook, no catapult. Painted on the side of the fuselage, look ma, no hook. The airplane became the largest and heaviest aircraft to ever land on an aircraft carrier, a record that stands today. We have to say that even though the description is much more impressive, what stayed in our minds most is the amazing motto painted on the side. Look, Ma, no hook. Funny, brilliant, and innovative. What else could someone ask for? This footage is not only breathtaking, it looks like an absolute miracle. Well, now for our final video. This is a landing that, well, let's just say didn't go as planned at all. Are you ready to sit on the edge of your chair? Number five is crash landing. And now for a landing that didn't go according to plan, this nylon crash barrier is in place waiting for the jet to arrive. The Sky Warrior comes into the aircraft carrier to land. It hits the crash barrier, skims along the deck on its nose, and it might not look as terrifying as you'd expect when you hear about a crash landing. But believe us when we say that this could cause as much disaster and death as any other crash landing. Thankfully, the crew runs to the jet and starts the rescue mission in seconds. The pilot's out quickly and no injuries reported. The aircraft, on the other hand, had some damage, but way less than expected. Hey, there you have it for today. These were the top five emergency landing on aircraft carriers that we've gathered up. Which one freaked you out the most and why? Let us know in the comments. And as always, give the video a like and go right ahead and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you'll never miss one of our newest videos. We'll see you next time.